Oh, hey girl, hey. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I'm super excited to have you here. Um, I hope you ladies all had a great start to your week. And I hope you came with your game faces on because this week's challenge is going to get real. Like, literally. <laughs> if you haven't already, um, please head over to our website and check out our personal development program, The 16 Keys to Excessive Elevation. We've outlined the entire thing for you just so you kind of have an idea of what you're getting into and what you have to look forward to over the next few weeks with our challenges. So this week I want to jump right in. We are starting this week with key four to excessive elevation, which is becoming the real MVP. Now, I know a lot of you have probably heard that term before, so I want to break it down for you a little bit as far as what it means to us. Um, so on any given day, we can all hop on a variety of social media platforms and see the highlight reels and the success stories and all of the benefits that come with living a good life, right? I mean, these six-figure business models and hashtag relationship goals and fitness tips and life hacks have become the norm for anyone's social feed on a typical week, nine to five, Monday through Friday, right? I mean, everybody wants to be seen as the most valuable player the guru, the person who's got it all figured out, which from a business perspective is actually pretty strategic. Um, but my question is, how many women in real life are seeing past these marketing efforts and asking themselves, what about the struggles? Because the truth is, behind every successful person, there are plenty of them. And in order for any of us to grow in any area of our lives, we have to be willing and able to be vulnerable with both ourselves and other people. So this week, I'm challenging you ladies to become the real MVP, the most vulnerable player. Um, I really want you to just get real about things and define who you are, what you want, and who you have to become in order to obtain these things. So in your challenge last week, key three was about embracing self-acceptance and you chose to accept yourself and your characteristics and your mindsets that you currently possess in this very moment. And the purpose of this was to help you define your starting points and accept your current circumstances for what they are right now and learn to not look at them as a bad thing because they're not, they're starting points. Um, but this week, we are going to start looking forward, and I want you to think about the next year and what you want out of life in the next year and what you have to do in order to get those things. So this week, I'm challenging you to become the most vulnerable player, and I want you to dedicate at least two hours of your week to becoming the real MVP. Spend some time alone away from other people, and just kind of out of the, the craziness and the busyness of your day-to-day, -day and dig deep and think about what you want out of life this year and what it's going to take for you to get there. Now, this can be anywhere, really. Um, the beach, a park bench, in your car on your lunch break. Moms, if you have your hands full right now, maybe it's just sitting on the patio before the kids wake up or after they go to bed. It doesn't really matter where you make the time. Um, just make sure it's quiet enough for you to think and that you have your own space in order to really be vulnerable with yourself. Now, you can break this up into whatever time increments work for you. Um, I know everybody's schedule is different. Everybody has different jobs and home lives and different circumstances. So maybe it's four 30 minute periods during this week or two one hour periods, Wh whatever works for you and whatever you can make fit into your schedule. Um, during this time, just really think about everything that's been on your heart and your mind lately and think about what you want. Like, what do you really want for you? Not your family, not your spouse, not your kids or your friends. 
not what are other people going to think about you if you just say it out loud. Um, don't think about anything other than what you want. And what what have you thought about over the last couple of months? What's been on your heart? What keeps you up at night? What are different things that you know you've wanted to do, but maybe life got busy or the kids had something or your spouse wanted to do something and you push yourself aside because we all do that. What are those things? And I really want you to pick two or three of them and write them down and get real about what you have to do in order to make it happen. Not anybody else, not not any requirements at work or any commitments that you have prior to starting this challenge. Um, just really think about what those two or, thing, two or three things are and then write them down. So an example would be like, do you want a better marriage? I'm not married, so I don't really know how this works, but let's just say that that's what, that's what you want. What do you have to do about it? Are you going to have to learn how to communicate better with your spouse? Are you going to have to learn how to tell them exactly what you want in the relationship? Is it, is it more time or more sex or just better communication? How do you express that to them now? Like, do you need to stop beating around the bush or stop thinking that they're just going to read your mind? Stop avoiding the conversations because you just don't want to deal with them. Um, or maybe in your marriage you do things subconsciously. Maybe you have some emotional barriers, like you've had some past issues and past relationships that you've brought into your current marriage without even knowing it. You know, do you need to sit down and have a long talk with your spouse or go see a therapist or work through some things with a girlfriend? What do you have to do in order to make your marriage as great as it can be? And we're not talking about your spouse right now. This is about you. Um, so that's just one scenario. So maybe another scenario would be you want to get a promotion. Well, you're not just going to wake up tomorrow and start making more money because somebody felt nice enough to hand it to you. So are you going to have to put in extra hours at work? Or insert yourself in some projects that may be outside of your current job description. Or take a course and learn something. Or maybe just get better at understanding other people's perspectives and be open to taking new ideas. Um, you, you might be holding yourself back without even knowing it. You know, maybe you're process oriented and you're stuck in your ways and you want to do things how you've always done them because that's how it works and that's how life goes. Well, maybe you're not getting promoted because in order to be a manager, you have to be open-minded and know how to manage people and be open to taking new ideas because maybe somebody has one that you don't. Um, that, that's just a thought. Now, keep in mind, these are not your goals. We're going to get to that in the next couple of weeks. So you're not writing down your goals. You're just writing down some things that you want and some of the things that you have to do in order to get them. Now, once you do this, um, I want you to screenshot the real MVP graphic from our story. I'll post it in the Q&A section and fill it out and share it. Share it with your friends, your family, share it online, post it, blog about it. Um, just get it out there. Put it on social media or let your friends see it. This is going to help you be more open to the idea of being vulnerable with both yourself and other people. Um, send us the videos and let us know what you come up with and let us know what you plan on using, how you plan on using this going forward. Um, I'm super excited to see what you ladies come up with. And I know sometimes it can be hard to really get real about what you want. And it's not always easy, but the reality is it's, it's actually really simple. You just have to be real with yourself and know what you want. And Again, you don't have to sugarcoat it for anybody. This isn't about anybody else but you. So I cannot wait to see what you ladies come up with. And over the next week, we'll be keeping you guys updated on some of the things that we're challenging ourselves with as well. So I'll talk to you soon. And I'm looking forward to you all becoming the real MVP, the most vulnerable player. We'll make a t-shirt soon, I promise. <laughs>